A Call to Walk in Holiness, Part 1 Do you know what is one of the most important things that God calls us to do? It is the call to walk in holiness. For God has not called us for impurity, but for holiness. 1 Thessalonians 4 7. We need to understand that it is not merely a call that we can answer if we want to, but it is also a command. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. 1 Peter 1 16. Which means that no matter how we feel during a particular situation, we need to obey this commandment. Regardless of whether we feel like it or not, we are obliged to stick to God's commandments. Also keep in mind this verse in 1 John 5 3. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. We need to love and accept His commandments and obeying them will flow out of this love for Him. Being holy is of importance because it influences who shall be welcome in God's presence. Psalms 24, 3-4 says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. No stained heart can enter his kingdom. God is very clear about that. No compromises. Now let's get down to what the word holiness actually means. Holiness is sanctity, saintliness and consecration. It is derived from the word holy meaning sanctified. It means to be set apart, to be different from the rest. And by pure in heart it means to be uncontaminated, unpolluted by evil. How can man be holy? As Romans 3.23 says, Man became impure because of sin. And in Hebrews 9.14 it says, God provided the way to purify man of his sins. Galatians 2.16 By faith in Christ Jesus, we can be made holy. We'll continue to discuss on this topic. Let's pray. Lord, we understand that it is your will for us to be holy. Help us to be holy as you are holy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's continue next week. Until then, may God be with you all.